Okay, so if you don't already have an Amazon account, just your regular book buy an Amazon account, you can go to awsamazon.com and uh, your book buying account will work just fine and you too can be spinning up a server in the cloud. Um, if you don't have an account, you can create one. Uh, very quickly go through the normal credit card verification game and then you will find yourself inside the Amazon Web Service dashboard and here I'm going to go to virtual servers of the cloud EC2 click on EC2 and uh, I'm going to spin up a new server so at this point I'll just click on launch instances and you'll see that uh, you have a number of operating systems to choose from Amazon's own uh, Amazon machine instance Red Hat sus Ubuntu. you just go crazy here we're going to skip down here and spin up a Microsoft uh, Windows uh, let's look for Let's go with this guy here, Microsoft Windows 2008 base, because it falls onto the free tier eligibility. And I'll go ahead and select that. And we're going to just go ahead and launch this. It will give us a security group. Um, think of that basically as a firewall and uh, it's the default one's going to come up with uh, TCP 3389 port forwarded from any IP address so that you can bring up RDP uh, you'll need to create a, a public and private key pair for authenticating your instance or your ability to log into it uh, go ahead and create a new key pair and download and save it. I already have one uh, I previously uh, created. I'll acknowledge that it's installed on my local machine. And at this point, we'll just go ahead and your instance is now launching. And it gives it a name. And at this point, um, we just sit back and watch watch this puppy spin up here it is here spinning up to speed it's currently pending pending and initializing and in a very short period of time um, we're talking minutes here not uh, hours and days we're going to have a complete Windows machine up and uh, running that's all it takes uh, to create this instance. Now I previously created another instance. You can see this one is now running already. That's how quickly I was able to spin that guy up. He's still provisioning however. You'll see over here it says initializing. And it, it's going to take maybe, I don't know, uh, 10 minutes max. They say 30 minutes just to get the uh, authentication and password set up. So uh, I'm going to let that uh, materialize here in the background. And we're going to just go ahead and I'm going to connect to this instance while this guy is in the background spinning up. This one I created a little bit earlier. You can see that each one gets its own uh, DNS settings, gets its own public IP address, uh, its own security instance. So I'm going to connect to this one and uh, we'll check back on this guy because I want you to see how quickly this can spin up. So here I'm going to say connect and at that point it's going to ask me uh, for my password and this has to do with those uh, keys that we previously established. So uh, we'll do get password and I'll go ahead and open that. Let's go ahead and open that guy up. And then we'll go ahead and decrypt, 
encrypt it. And at that point, we've got our password. Um, and I'll go ahead and copy. And at this point, you would uh, bring up a remote desktop connection. It's going to come up, connect, and ask me for my password. I'll just go ahead and put this guy in here. And we'll go ahead and connect. And at that point, uh, I'm spinning up a new Windows Data Center server here. Give that a second to come up. Let's go back and check on. Uh, so looking back here, this guy is still initializing, but here we have a fully operational instance of a Microsoft uh, server and it's ready for access. So I've got my host name, I've got my public address, my private address, and we are good to go. If I uh, want to, I can go over to the security groups here and the security group will populate uh, in such a way that it will enable me to set up port forwarding. And as I showed you before, uh, port forwarding will often uh, by default set up a 33, port 3389. So here uh, we have our default uh, security group set up and I can go ahead in here and begin to set him up so as you'll see here inbound um, all ports so let's say I wanted to set up port uh, 5060 I could either give it a, sor a source address, or, or in this case, any port 5060 can connect, and uh, just apply the rule. At that point, I've got that set up. I can set up a custom uh, UDP rule for 5060, and add that rule, apply the rule. And so you can see that programming the firewall is, is pretty simple. So let's go back to our Elastic Cloud uh, here. We've got two instances running. And let's just see if the other instance has come up. It's still initializing. Um, so, you know, it's been at least uh, four minutes here. Uh, but you'll see that this will come solid and we will have a complete server up, operational, fully functioning, and available for our application. In this case, I think what we're going to do is deploy a voice over IP solution and see how we can put our phone system in the cloud. So I hope you have found this informative and I thank you for viewing.